हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू प्रवेगा टॉक सीरीज एंड प्रवेगा पॉडकास्ट स्टूडेंट्स यू नो दैट वी कीप ऑन डिस्कसिंग वेराइटी ऑफ टॉपिक्स विच इज ऑफ इंटरेस्ट टू द स्टूडेंट्स प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर आई आई टी जैम फिजिक्स एंड सी एस आई आर नेट फिजिक्स एंड अदर कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स तो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट ऑब्जर्वेशन ऑफ क्लासिकल मैकेनिक्स which is actually applied to variety of situations in statistical mechanics but we actually directly use that you know the name but you don't know the what is the background so for that i invite a director of pravega atul gaurav sir so please come atul gaurav sir and we will discuss about this hello atul hello atul hello. sir so atul sir hum log वीरियल थ्योरम का नाम हमेशा सुनते रहते हैं एग्जैक्टली exactly. और उसको सवाल लगाने के लिए हम बड़े आराम से यूज भी करते हैं बट एज ए स्टूडेंट भी और आपसे कई बार इस पर डिस्कशन भी हुआ है तो मेरे मन में था कि इसका बैकग्राउंड कहाँ से है और ये कहाँ से आती है और किस टाइप के सिस्टम्स में और किस टाइप के सिचुएशन में वी कैन अप्लाई दिस तो आलोक वीरियल थ्योरम इज वन ऑफ द वेरी फंडामेंटल ऑब्जर्वेशन Which can be mathematically derived. Right. So this is one of the very beautiful thing. Right. इसको हम mathematically derive कर सकते हैं और बहुत ही fundamental calculation से. और in general अगर हम system के बारे में बात कर रहे हैं, that means I am talking about the conservative system mainly, where you can define your force with minus del u upon del r kind of thing, where u is potential energy. So अगर आप system के बारे में जानते हो, तो kinetic energy और potential energy ये दोनों एक दूसरे के साथ प्ले करते हैं right. और सिस्टम को एक उसकी एक एनर्जी होती है और बाकी सारी चीजें होती है लेकिन हर एक सिस्टम की अलग से काइनेटिक एनर्जी कैलकुलेट करना अलग से पोटेंशियल एनर्जी कैलकुलेट करना इट्स अ वेरी टफ टास्क राइट इन जनरल सो वीरियल थ्योरम ये अलाउ करता है कि अगर आप एवरेज सेंस में देखें स्टेस्टिकल सेंस में देखें देन वॉट इज रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन एवरेज ऑफ काइनेटिक एनर्जी एंड व्हाट इज रिलेशन विद द एवरेज ऑफ पोटेंशियल सो इन अ वे इट आल्सो टॉक्स अबाउट टाइम एवरेज ऑफ टाइम एवरेज मेनली मेनली फॉर द टाइम पोटेंशियल यस सो अगर आप टाइम एवरेज की बात कर रहे हैं दैट मींस इट इज ऑल अबाउट द बाउंडेड सिस्टम मेनली राइट एंड कंजर्वेटिव सिस्टम ऑफ कोर्स एंड इसका बहुत ही जबरदस्त यूज हो जाता है जब आप एक बार चीजों को देखते हो तो इन क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स यू कैन very tough problem you can solve in a very nice way in a statistical mechanics where right. you have more than one observations and you have to take always time average of some quantity Correct. so wahan par aap easily baat kar sakte so actually we have been using that we know the formula but i wanted to know what is the background can we derive it uh, yes, we from the derive. scratch yes we yes. can derive so virial theorem अगर आप इन जनरल आजकल जैसे चलता है कि पढ़ाई का एक अलग सा मेथड बन गया है कि ये फॉर्मूला है इसको याद कर लो वी आर नॉट गोइंग इनटू दैट फॉर्म एक्चुअली सो लेट अस ट्राई टू डिस्कस इट विद अ वेरी बेसिक और एक एक करके हम समझते हैं कि क्या है एंड स्टूडेंट्स यू विल सरप्राइज दैट मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेस दिस इज जस्ट गोइंग टू क्रैक और इसके ऊपर फिर हम लोग एक प्रॉब्लम भी सॉल्व करेंगे राइट सो ऐसा करते हैं कि इसको हम लोग बहुत ही बेसिक से समझने की कोशिश करते हैं ओके सो स्टूडेंट्स ये प्रॉब्लम है दिस इज आवर चैलेंज फॉर टू डेज क्लास एंड दिस इज योर टॉपिक का लोग दिस इज स्टेटिकल मैकेनिक्स है ना एंड दिस हेमिल्टोनियन इज गिवन सो हेमिल्टोनियन दिया हुआ है एंड योर पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इज क्यू आई टू दी पावर अल्फा एंड दिस प्रॉब्लम वॉज आस्क इन जस्ट एग्जामिनेशन जस्ट टू and uh, they have just ask what will be average energy and what is relationship between potential energy and kinetic energy this kind of thing is there right so before going to this problem let us try to go for what is virial theorem and then we will try to derive it okay. and uh, in between we will discuss why we are taking this thing and why not we are which constraint is there and all this correct so, just... so let me go for this so virial theorem if you will see the virial theorem then straight forward it can be ex stated by the average of kinetic energy is equal to n plus 1 by 2 average of potential energy correct and where the potential energy is in the form of r to the power n plus 1 and you have some positive constant also so this is the statement of virial theorem and n can be any integer n can be any fraction positive or negative any so 
this is the statement of Virial theorem. Correct. And let us try to derive this. The derivation is very interesting. Hmm. So, what we are just going to take, we are just going to take one particular well variable that is G. And this is all about summation of our I, PI, that is momentum, dot RI, that is position. Yeah. So, your question will be, sir, why this thing? Mm. This is the one of the very interesting thing. Mm. So, in general, when you will see the book and I am just going through the Goldstein mm. that is given on page so number. So, student, eight. please note down the reference is Goldstein. Goldstein and uh, this is from the page number 83, 83. in my edition. Yeah. So, look at, when you will define the state of a system in a classical form, mm. then position and its momentum is the state of a system. Right. And PI if you know the state of a system at some particular point of time, you can know more or less each and everything about the system. Right. So look at this particular G, position and momentum. Huh. So we have deliberately taken this one. And this can be not a constant, this can be function of time. So we can just der derive, just take the derivative with respect to time. Right. So, when we are going to take the derivative... I think more understanding of G comes when we derive it. Derive right. it. Then exactly. we understand why we had taken that. Taken that. that. That is very interesting. So, let's go for DG upon DT. So, look what will happen. So, we have to just go for summation over I. And Plus this function. is PI dot. And RI, we can take same. And here, plus summation over I. And that will be PI r i dot dot so we can take in a vector form right okay and the beautiful part is that p i r i dot so this is m v something like m v and this will be your v. v so this is m v square so when m v square will come there you can easily take the kinetic, kinetic energy, energy into that so we can easily take the kinetic energy in our picture so that is p i dot r i, r -I and plus this is nothing but the kinetic energy right okay so we can write kinetic energy in this form and this term pi dot is nothing but newton's second law pi dot is nothing but the force so when we are going to write this particular thing so this value is equal to force fi and dot ri and what i can write fi and plus you can this is two time of kinetic two times, energy because half time. will be yes, multiplied exactly. And uh, this will be two time of kinetic energy. And this thing we can write as minus del u upon del ri ri. Right. Because this is conservative force. So you can just write d, del u upon del i ri is there. And plus you have two time kinetic energy. Hmm. Okay. So this is the thing. And we have this particular situation in this particular condition. Okay. Okay. So what will happen? We have dg upon dt. dt. This is very interesting. Okay. Mm. Now what we are going to do? We are just taking the time average. Mm. Okay. So what we will do? We will take dt here and integrate. integrate it, and we will take time average for the period of the motion. So okay. it is bounded system. Bounded. So we are started here, and again we are going for the period of motion. So this will be zero to one period by total time average. Hmm. So here we will also take the time average. average. Here we will take the time average. <laughs> and look at this particular thing. And again, I am just trying to say this particular thing. Hmm. This particular thing is there. What we have, hence this is a state of a system. Hmm. So after one period of time, you will have exactly same position same and the same momentum. Hmm. So what will happen? This d, t dt will cancel and you will just going to equate DG, dg integrate dg and you will go for 0 to t so, so hence you have same position same momentum so this, so value. this value is equal to zero this value i can easily write zero correct and once we will write this value zero then what we have we have a very nice expression this is kinetic energy equal to del u upon del r and r part is there this is your time this is two times, I think. This is two times, so one by two, two is also there. Hmm. So now we can take a u as a form of hmm. something k r n plus one. Hmm. So what will happen? 
So when we will go for this, so this is my kinetic energy. So this will be 1 by 2. So del U upon del R, we have N plus 1. And again 1 R is there. So it will again have K time R N plus 1. And this is nothing but the potential energy. So what you have, you have kinetic energy is half N plus 1 potential energy. Correct. So we have exact this formula we are going to so use. So this is so intelligent so to take N, take plus, N plus 1 there. So after that we derivative can again potential, potential energy, energy will because this R is also there. Right. So we can just derive this one. Okay. And you can think that if you have Hooke's law for hmm. Hooke's potential, hmm. that is half kr square in a classical mechanics. Hmm. So we can easily find the total kinetic energy and potential energy will same. So right. because n is equal to 1 there because hmm. for this particular vr is nothing but what? Kr R square. square. n is so equal to n 1. n is equal so to 1. So that will kinetic, kinetic energy, energy is equal. potential. For example, in the quantum mechanics for hydrogen atom, mm. we are taking potential energy is minus k by r. Mm. So what will happen? So minus k by r is your, we have potential energy that is minus k upon r. So n is equal to what? Minus 1. Minus 1. So we. So r to the power minus 1. So minus 1 is equal to minus n plus 1. Minus 1 is equal to n plus 1. So you mm. can put it here mm. and you can get the relationship between potential energy Correct. and kinetic energy. Correct. So this is very strong a statement that how your average energy, how your average kinetic energy and potential energy is correlated. Right. So if you have learned this thing, Alok, hmm. I think you can take up to this question. Correct. In a statistical mechanics. Right. So this was a question. So we can just. Uh, so now. This was a question in which uh, Hamiltonian was given as Ai Pi square and plus some Bi Qi represents the position. So it is power alpha. Yes. So just uh, we can use and they have actually already given the average energy and uh, inter average internal energy and they want what is alpha. What is so it? we can just derive how this alpha and kinetic energy will be related for general for equation. General equation. Yes. yes. So we can just take it, this is H, so this is some form of kinetic, kinetic energy, energy and this is some form of form potential, potential energy, energy correct. and if we will see the complete solution, so we can see this particular complete solution. So what will happen? So for one dimensional system, average kinetic energy is Kb T half by, KB, half KB, by equipartition, equipartition of energy. energy. So if your my potential is something R n plus 1, yes. uh, R to the power n plus 1, same a statement then n. kinetic energy is something n plus 1 by 2 potential potential energy so this is my virial theorem right so what is n plus 1 there alpha so, alpha so n plus 1 is there alpha yes and what is potential energy that is 2 by alpha of the kinetic energy yeah. so we can easily write potential energy is 2 by alpha to the kind so from this we can do lot of lot questions, of questions yes? Yes, yes and you can think one very interesting Look at the form of this potential. Ah. The mod QI alpha, that means this is bonded system. Right. This is bonded and this is conservative. Mm. Okay. And now we can go for this. And also we can think that this have to be, you have to just also guess that alpha should be such that it will always behave like a bonded system. Mm. Even if mod is not there. Right. Otherwise that time <laughs> average thing which you there. have derived is yes, not valid. Not so we have this particular thing. So potential energy is, we can easily write 2 alpha of the kinetic energy and kinetic energy is nothing but we have 2 alpha of the kBt by 2 Yes. and this value is equal to kBt, KBT by, T by alpha, isn't yes. it? Yes. So we have this value as kBt by alpha. alpha. And then we will write the kinetic energy plus, plus potential, potential energy and we have basically kBt by by 2 basically this is for the kinetic energy One kBt by system. 2 and this will be kBt by, KBT alpha. by alpha is equal, equal to it to is already given, given 2 by 3 kBt. kBt and we can easily so calculate, calculate value the value of alpha is equal to 6. 6. So this is a wonderful problem and look at this thing. 
look at this thing because when you are seeing this particular problem it is not given by 2m and something so this is hamiltonian then obviously this is kinetic energy plus and this is potential energy yeah. part you have to just imagine consider this thing yeah. and the once you will just go for virial theorem you can easily solve so students in each and every exam at least one question of yes, the step mac or classical mechanics or quantum mechanics you can solve with the virial virial theorem correct and look at the derivation hmm. this is so beautiful so actually this is one uh, thing that we have discussed but in the same way you should if you are using something at least once you should visit the derivation and see how that is, has been derived and for what type of systems that can be applied exactly and i look the lot of people asking that uh, how you are just uh, comprehending the topic hmm. so this is the way we are the comprehending the topic such that the student can learn any big thing in a very short interval right so this type of session they can do the problem we will be we will be doing it again in for again. some other topic yes yes so this is very important that we have to learn physics in a very coherent manner right right so this is one of the very good okay theorem. so thank you very thank much you for watching the video thanks thank you